Hello, how good of you to join? Welcome back to Tropico and welcome back to our glorious town. Now, in the last episode, we were building up our high tech industry over there. Um, I, of course, still need to look out and further optimize this one here. For example, the smart furniture studio always or quite often doesn't have um, furniture available. So, first of all, I would like to get rid of the shipyard here because I think the boats are not really selling us that much anymore. But let's just check it real quick. The boats are here with 8,000 in the last 12 months of my income, right? So that's not that much and I might actually get rid of them. We also have um, toys somewhere down here, I think. Toys, 5,000. Iron, that is a leftover. Coal, hides. Okay, this is also because we have a surplus of these goods that are being sold. Juice is also really low. Um, I'm a bit disappointed in that. But the boats are not that important anymore. Um, they're consuming the planks and the planks I could use for um, a furniture factory that in return produces for my smart furniture factory. Which I guess will bring us more. So let's get rid of the boathouse there. Off you go. Um, and down here we have one furniture factory. I would like to have a second one. Yes, I am like that. <laughs> I'm greedy and I want to have a second one. Over here... Mm, there is a parking area, right? Or park area. Who needs a park beside a nuclear station? What kind of person designed that? There we have the... I hope I can squeeze it in. Yes, very good. A, another furniture factory now in this area here. Not that far away from the, the metro station and very not that far away from the lumber mill. So I'm hoping there's a lot of stuff coming out of it. Right. By the way, we are also producing a lot of logs now that are all not being processed anymore by that lumber mill. So I might just have a second lumber mill somewhere out here um, where it m makes sense to have it. Just here, for example, producing me some... Oh! Oh, I was... Actually, I wanted to... Yeah, let's have both of them here. Let's have both of them there. It makes more sense. And here, it didn't fit in there anymore. We can have something else then. This one also needs some planks. Now, I hope that's enough really to support both of them. I so want to have more smart furniture. That means sofas and couches that speak to me. Isn't that amazing? Now, let's continue with out bad jokes, I hope. Um, the customs office. Oh, and we have a thunderstorm. This time, though, we have lightning rods that we can purchase. Let's do this one. <laughs> Let's not use our city for experiments anymore. Um, there's one more thing here, and that's the customs office. The customs office was really expensive back in the days when we built it. Um, and it's actually a good thing, because we do get two very important upgrades out of it. The first one is the tax evasion decreases the import prices by 10%. And we might need that rather soon. And the other one is the tourist fees. So every tourist arriving in Tropico pays $10 on base efficiency. That's crazy. We have so many tourists nowadays. That's a lot of money coming in in addition to all of that. Right? Now, while the sun thunderstorm rages. Oh yes, my ministry. We are loosening those people so fast. Um, let's just hire the ministries that we need there once again. This one... This one and foreign affairs, what was it? Export prices increasing. Very good. Now, one more thing is um, that we have the Spy Academy. Even though we didn't really notice that yet. The Spy Academy that is working for us now is opening up a new option for us in the Cyber Operations Center. And that is a pretty cool one. The Fantasy Reviews. So spawns multiple perfect ratings for every tourist type. So we even get a better... Um, tourist rating out of it and I'm definitely going to do that. We're also going to have some um, treasure hunts. We're going to have some market manipulations. Creates import, creates export trade routes with 40% price deviation for the next two offers. Let's have one of them. That sounds like a good idea. Some treasure hunts. And then we still need to decide on a monument. And these monuments are really powerful. We are going to neglect the White House because we already have a palace. A palace. I don't want to have another one. That same goes with the Winter Palace. Um, so we have the Temple of the Heaven, which is a pretty cool name. And I, it's a very beautiful monument. So it increases the efficiency of all plantations and hydroponic plantations. That's good, but we have kind of enough money. Um, the Great Pyramid. I don't think it really fits in here. Increases construction rate of each construction worker by 50%. Eh. And Neuschwanstein Castle, tourist vacation time and tourist fees are increased and tourists stay longer. That means we can have more tourists at the same time. Plus, it's a beautiful castle. Let's go for Neuschwanstein Castle as well on top of that. 
That's done. Oh my goodness, it's really, really raining right now. I hope we are not getting flooded or anything. Another thing that I want to key, uh, start working on now is my drone factory. I think the logistics drones is really cool as it, well, kind of like hopefully makes life for my transporters quite easy um, by totally automating my trading, uh, my, my transportation. Well, let's just see, see that. So we do need aluminium. That is something strange enough we have that. Why do we have that? Basically from our waste treatment facility, we do get some aluminium out of it now and some nickel. It's not going to be enough to really supply it, but it's a nice bonus on top of that. The other one would be the batteries. So we do need the battery factory for that. This one here processes nickel and aluminium to batteries. It's a pretty big one. Let's squeeze it in into this area there. And by the way, since my factories are also moving now into this area and we have some working place, I might... I just might have another metro station in this area here. I think it just makes sense to have that here for example or here because we are also of course still going to add some more stuff into this area then so let's just go ahead and have some metro station there as well now for the nickel and aluminium let's just check real quick if we can do something about that automated mine nickel let's have a look where nickel is forget it it's way too far away it's basically completely out of reach um aluminium also really far away we would need to have trade routes yeah i'm going with trade routes in this case here so let's just have a look at my uh trade i do have ah you know what let's purchase all of the trade licenses that we have there so we have it totally unlocked now um by the way car a very good deal that i've struck there with 60 percent approved uh increasing let's have a look at my import for minerals Aluminium, that would be one. Nickel, that would be one. Oh my goodness. Prices are crazy. Mm. I have to I have to go with that, I guess. Right? Coal would be fine. Iron would be fine. But why? Nickel. It cost me 6,000 per 1k unit. That's a lot. We're going to need a lot of nickel. And aluminium is 4,000. Huh. Huh. Or what should we do now? Should we just import batteries? I guess that could be even... Even more expensive. Aluminium and nickel. And theoretically, we would have both in the waste, uh, waste treatment facility. I could have another one. Let's just see if we can do it actually with the waste treatment facilities. That might be a... A nice change of things here. So, waste treatment facility. We do need one over here um, in my tourist center anyway at some point, right? So, it's not look, it's not bad looking per se, right? So, it's it's actually doing some good stuff there. For factories and stuff like that. Let's build another one here. Um, and let's also build another one for those factories there. a good building and all of them do get this upgrade here right so generates that in addition those materials and i think we don't have one here yet for those skyscrapers and stuff i might just have one being yeah surrounding all of them i think this is also a good location for it um and it's definitely going to be hopefully profitable so we don't need a mine for that but we'll just find out right let's build the battery plant there we have it getting the workers right away costing me some energy there is no upgrade for it safety regulations are intact nickel and aluminium let's just hope that it does get some resources another cool edict that we can unlock here is the speedway increases the speed of vehicles using roads by 15 percent this cost me 600 per month let's just go with that also, every freighter uh, leaving Tropico takes away one pollution for each garbage dump. Nah, let's not do this one. But it's definitely worth it having a look at all of that here. Um, also, constitution topic allows you to put focus on trade routes. We could do that. There's the marriage rights that we need for one of the missions that we can also go with. Um, vaccinization. The threshold is decreased by five citizens dying of low health care. Not really something I need right now. Uh, drone recycling. Not now, please. Automated mine in your work mode for that. Arcade. Yeah, basically that's it for now. But that edict for the 
highway might be a good thing. So let's just activate this one. And it's definitely getting cheaper once it levels up. So that's something. Now, my battery factory has already 78 nickel. It's still lacking the aluminium though. And we've also just made the first $100,000 from one export alone, I think. Yeah, must be the first $100,000. The freighter also takes $64,000 with it right away. So, yeah, we can definitely feel now the high-tech industry, right? We, we can definitely feel now all of that coming into that <laughs> cargo airport here. It's crazy how much money we make at this point. To think that we had a shortage of money at some point, or lack of money. Now, please, nickel. Aluminium, a bit of it at least. And then we're producing some batteries. It's not much, but it's a start. Those batteries go right to the drone. There we need the batteries. There it is, and we have the first logistics drones. And we can produce quite a lot of them with the batteries that we have. Now, and once we finally have drones available, I have now these two buildings here. The drone delivery service. So drones fly and from to and from a specific, specified destination delivering all kinds of goods, like the Teamster office, um, just not using the roads. But they also carry less than a truck. Um, and then we have the drone taxi. Transports people to the destination within the area of a fact. Another very cool thing to speed up our transportation network. Let's just go with the transportation first, the drone delivery service. Um, I guess we need to build it first and then we can design it to a certain area, right? So I'm going to place my first one, yeah, I guess here. And then we have the drone taxi. And this one needs a radius and it transports people within that radius, uh, tow and fro. So that's also something. Uh, could speed up transportation times, but only in a very short area, I guess. So it's not really that cool looking, I guess. And we need to destroy something for it. Something here in the center. We could transport some tourists. <laughs> no idea, really. Let's have it in the let's have it in the industry area for now and just see what it does. Oh, look at that. There are the drones. We got the drone network now running. It's incredible. I don't believe that, really. They're coming from the drone factory, as we can see. Let's not allow them for export at this point. I want to use them for myself. Right. There's the delivery service. It has now 22 out of 50 drones already. And we now need to designate a route. So within that route, they're transporting stuff. And let's just start with the the airport. And let's just let them, I guess, go over here. Is that possible? Okay, so it really needs to be for a specified building and a specified um, good, it seems. So we can't just have it in a certain area work um, independently like the Teamster office. I think at least it doesn't do that. So let's just choose, for example, the... Um, the pharmaceutical uh, company here and say cargo airport right and pharmaceuticals it is and it's really just doing that now and we need to create new routes then for all of that so the same goes with the second one for example right the next one okay this is not something that i like so much why can't it not do it automatically let's make the apparel there as well and that's it so those three routes are now working um and the drones should hopefully transport goods between them Right, and no longer do we need teamsters for that job, I guess. And then we have also the drone taxi over there. This one, though, needs uh, passenger drones. So that is something that we still haven't done yet. We need to research that. The passenger drones, modern times, and drone factory. There it is. Oh, we don't have enough knowledge points. We don't have enough knowledge points. Well, we do need a research lab. Generates a lot of knowledge for the research of regime tools. Am I a regime tool to you? We will also have the space program and the nuclear uh, program. Those are also increasing my research. Let's go with the research lab first. Um, and I might just have this one, yes, here. Besides the military and beside my cyber operations. Another big building that we can then just have in the area. And by the way, those houses here, I think we can get rid of them. Now that we have that high-tech everywhere here. There it is. Research lab. Decreases upkeep. It uh, decreases required electrical power. Cloud computing. And the research lab continuously generates one knowledge per day on base efficiency. Let's also do this. 
Sounds very good. And please generate some knowledge now for me. Central Research Lab. And we can also see the drones flying in the air. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking, by the way. They're now... I mean, we need 50 logistics drones for three trade routes. Seems a bit over the top to me. Right, so they're doing that. And my teamsters don't need to do that anymore. So that's something. Um, I wonder if we can increase the amount of drones that we can use. Perhaps in a research or something like that. Um, if we have something here. Modern times, of course. And then we have the drone economy. Eh, drone recycling. Also not that. Nah, not looking good. I don't think we have something in that regard. But, uh, well, we might still get something. Who knows? Oh boy, it's getting really busy now in the air, though. With all of that. And, yeah, really, they're taking it step by step now here. 30 each time they fly. Thus delivering way more now to that cargo airport here. <laughs> We still have some other buildings that we can have a look at. The Beauty Farm, for example, uh, provides faith what to visiting citizens and fun to visiting tourists, preferred by celebrity tourists. Another building that we should probably add somewhere over there, um, in this in this whole area there. So yeah, we have the rehab there, and the Beauty is not that far away. Let's just have this one right next to it. How is looking, by the way? The rehab center is being heavily used. Right, so as we can see, lots of people. Oh my goodness, it's full. It's completely full. Those poor souls, though, have to travel quite some time over here. Um, the golf course is is okay, I guess. We've tried turning it off and on again, and it still doesn't work. Okay, one another penultimo event where we need to wait until nothing happens at the end. <laughs> so not that. Um, what we can do is, what we can do is, I've done a bus system over there right so that the workers would use it but they're actually going to the docks for the ships right to the oil rig so i'm i'm going now to cancel this one that's the bus and it has its bus stop there it is it's bus garage so let's put the bus stop now to the metro station here and the end over here so that we reach this destination here now too. With my for my tourists, for the visiting ones. The beauty farm that we've built now here also needs to work, of course, and people need to get there somehow. Fantastic looking buildings. Right next to the golf course and the rehab center. I didn't expect that the rehab center would be so successful. Roller coaster and stadium are very successful though, so they're always full when I look at them. The stadium has a lot of slots, right? But there's lots of people to it. And the roller coaster is completely full. So that's that. Um, and yes, then there is also the question of where we put more buildings and uh, monuments. First of all, we don't have that many homeless people right now, but I would still like to um, improve a bit my, my, my town there, increase it in size a bit. So let's have another metro station over here, right So at the end of this one. Because I'm also going to have some more houses here now. Uh, we have the apartment, we have the tenements, we have the houses, the modern houses. Let's go with another skyscraper here, I guess. Nah, it's a bit far outside. Let's have some normal houses there. Yes. It's just looking better. Those houses there. Plus some... Eh, not flop houses really. But we need something for... The people that uh, work close to those locations there, right? So it... They can never hurt of having a few more apartments. To expand in this area. There we have a bit of space. Where I might still put, for example, some modern mansion in or something like that. official residence we have. Nah, let's not do this yet. I might still find something else here because after all we have some... Oh, we have lots of space there behind the Colosseum that I would like to use as well. Something like that. Let's also just check our trade routes real quick. Oh, and we finished the marriage rights research now. So the research is coming along. Uh, cars, truly, we were basically at this point exporting a lot. Perhaps some electronics would be nice. If we could get that apparel. How's it looking with that? We already have it. 
them because it's a really, really profitable one and we can produce a lot of it. Logistics drones. There would be something. They are very expensive. I might just go for that. Surveillance drones, weapons, wool. Let's go with the logistics drones and open up logistics for my people. We are producing a lot of them. We have a thousand drones at the moment in store. Let's sell this one to make some more money out of it. Perfect. It's also getting a bit hectic here with all the drones flying around. So I don't think I'm going to do this too often. <laughs> Since we would have flying drones everywhere at some point. Not something I like. Stay tuned. <laughs> 